Hey everyone, probably the last nice day to hike in the fall. Kind of had an extension of summer here in Ohio. So I'm out here again in the same woods. And I think I've come across something new that I haven't seen before. See these weird, weird looking white growths. Don't even really look like a mushroom. If I take one up, you can see that Definitely is. If I'm correct, I think these are called abortive entolomas and are another edible. Of course, I know I'm going to have to verify that, but I've never seen anything like this, and I've seen pictures of those before, and they always look really weird and white, so in the process of elimination. Very interesting, so. Take it home and get a closer look. See what I can figure out. I found some more of these abortive entolomas. And I suppose that these are the the mushroom that the entoloma produces when it's not abortive. Kind of a pinkish brown on your side. grayish cap. You can see they're growing right next to each other, so I assume that's what that is, but you know, I'll have to check again. But they're all on this underside of an old tree stump. They all seem to be growing pretty close to the ground. So these are indeed abortive entolomas, also known as entoloma ab abortivum. This is the Latin name for it. You can see that they come in a variety of kind of shapes, but it's all kind of like a it feels like a small head of cauliflower. You can see I have one that's kind of split open here. You can see it's kind of uh, kind of opened up, opened up in like little cavities on the inside. And they say these are supposed to have kind of a mealy taste to them, but still good to eat. And these are the mushrooms responsible for it. Now reading about these has been very interesting because mycologists still do not know whether or not that these arise from this mushroom parasiting honey mushrooms or honey mushrooms parasiting this mushroom or even something completely different. But most agree that there's some sort of uh, parasiting of one mushroom on top of another that's causing this. Now I hope to find another mushroom called lobster mushrooms which is kind of another parasite situation where another mushroom species gets onto a lactarius mushroom or a rasulo mushroom like the milk caps you've seen me find before and uh, pretty much changes it completely into a, a better tasting mushroom actually and I'm kind of interested to see if uh, this form is actually a better tasting form than this one kind of weird when you think about a, a mushroom that doesn't taste good like the white lactarius mushrooms that can be changed altered completely by another mushroom twisted about and you know change its entire shape and color and make it something you know tasty and useful for mankind so very interesting. So I'll post some, some links in the description on more information about uh, this topic of mushrooms parasiting another. And I'll eventually cook these up and uh, let you know how they turned out. Those uh, large puffballs I found, you remember in the last video, they're still growing today, although some of them kind of turned yellow. And uh, I did end up selling um, all but one that I brought to the farmer's market. So. Those are a viable option for mushrooms to sell at the market.